Sadly, on Labor Day, Phyllis Shafley, a champion of the conservative movement, passed away at 92 years old. 92. Now, as those of you who regularly watch my channel know, I'm a liberal Democrat. But I'm also a lover of politics, regardless of strife. And I found Phyllis Schlafly delightful because I knew exactly where she was coming from. She left no clue regarding her attitudes or, for that matter, her racism. For example, she once said that it's not racist if you don't like Mexicans. But the one that gives me the most hilarious, hilarious, deep in the gut, good fall of laughing fits when I think it, is when she recently said that President Obama wanted Ebola in the United States to, <laughs> excuse me to, <laughs> I'm sorry to make the United States more like Africa <laughs> but <laughs> you get the point okay <laughs> oh boy she was so much the source of some of the most outrageous and ridiculous things anyone could ever say about somebody who didn't look like them that I had no problem turning to her for comic relief. Boy, so the, but the bottom line is this, that like anyone else, she was a good mother to her kids and had a wonderful family and will be missed by a number of people, by thousands. And yeah, sure, I don't agree with her point of view, and I think a lot of her attitudes are wacky and outmoded and everything else, but it doesn't mean I don't respect her as a person. And I do. And uh, it's very nice to report that she's lived such a long life and had such a dramatic impact on so many people. And I understand that she's, you know, not comfortable with the way she, the country is changing. In fact, that's what's so fascinating about Phyllis Schlafly because she represents a watermark in social change and I think deserves a great deal of study because younger people don't really get, I, when I say younger, I mean below the age of, say, 25 or 20, or, you know, but 35 sometimes, who are not really politically tuned, don't understand where we are in society having elected the first black president in 2008 on the cusp of electing the first woman president in the United States in 2008, 2016 this year. They don't get that we're in the middle of a dramatic period of change that goes all the way back to 1962 we had the 1964 Civil Rights Amendment. We had 1972 ERA, Equal Rights Amendment, and all the way up to today. You get the idea. But the pace of change has been the most dramatic over the past 20 years. And during this that period of time, Phyllis Schlafly has be, be, became rather more and more outspoken because. It was a dramatic turn from the life that she was used to. I get that. I respect that. Rest in peace.